Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel today. We are continuing on in our playlist and our steps, our troubleshooting steps for when your QuickBooks point of sale clients cannot connect to the main server. That's right, in an environment where you have multiple cash registers and they're all communicating with the main server, once in a while you'll run into situations where your clients cannot connect and so I'm laying out the troubleshooting steps so that we can get that all fixed up for you and get you on your way because you have so many customers you need your multiple registers or maybe you're receiving a bunch of new inventory so you need those secondary registers let's do it uh, we are on step number four today and I think the previous step we checked out some network settings and made sure that things were set correctly on your computers for the network. Now, if that didn't work, we're moving on to step number four, which is gonna take a little legwork. You're gonna have to know a little bit about your network and how it's set up. If you've never uh, looked at it before, or looked at the devices on your network, uh, we're gonna check that out now and do a simple step that could solve all your problems. It, it really could. Before we jump into it, don't forget to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. That's right, the link is right down below in the description. Get over there and you can ask questions about uh, maybe this problem or other errors or problems. You could ask for uh, training walkthroughs or request another video for this channel. Uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe down below so that we can um, get you the content you need. <laughs> the brand new videos all the time on this channel for QuickBooks Point of Sale. But uh, let's move on now, let's go ahead and do it. All right, so you got your, your business network and your store network and you just can't get connected from your clients. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand up and you're gonna walk, I, I know this is in my house, so it's a little bit different, but you're, you're gonna have to get to the place in your building or your business where the network stuff is sitting you know and that would be the modem and the router and I make no apologies mine is a little messy at the moment it's down here by my furnace uh, I'm gonna take you on a little messy tour uh, this white box is my modem and then uh, I've got cords dangling everywhere I've got a server hanging out there uh, and then way up here on top of here is my router. It just seemed like a really good place to put it. I'm sorry if this is quiet because the microphone is far away from me. Uh, but what I'm actually going to do is I can see that everything looks kosher on my modem. But sometimes things just aren't right. Sometimes they're not working correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the power plug straight out of my modem oh my gosh now the lights went out my kids and my wife are gonna be like where did the internet go holy cow what are you doing down there messing with our internet <laughs> and then I am also good thing I got a I got a little stool here I'm also jumping up where the router is I can see the lights on this side now I can see that there's a red light I'm not sure if you can see that but I'm also going to pull the power from my router so that all the lights go out on the router so once again you can see that there's no lights now I have pulled everything out of the internet oh everybody's gonna have a fit upstairs um, <laughs> but back to the modem I just let it sit there for like 20 30 seconds and then I'm gonna plug it back in all right so I'm not gonna sit here and make you watch my modem come back up but it's gonna take about five minutes to get the lights back to where they were okay so of course every modem has different lights mine now has returned to this state where it should be good the little world icon is there which means I'm connected to the internet and now I'm jumping back up to my router now I'm going to plug the router back in so some lights are coming back on with the router the router is also going to take about five minutes to come back up and all the lights 
to come back on. So that is the long and short of it for this troubleshooting step. We are going to unplug both devices. You probably have a modem and a router, or they might be combined together, like maybe they're from Comcast or Charter or Mediacom, whatever your cable provider is or your DSL provider. Uh, if they're all in one, you can just do it with this the single device. Uh, if you have a modem and a router, I'll unplug them both and then plug in your modem first, let that go through its whole thing and get back up and running again. And once it is, then you can plug in your router and let it come back up and get all running again. And after you've done all that, I would recommend restarting point of sale on your server and then restart point of sale on your client. Of course, if you're up and running while you're doing this and your store is open, you're not gonna be able to process credit cards or do other things that take the internet because you're restarting your internet. So my name's Peter with BlackRock Business. Thanks for coming along in this little journey and step in troubleshooting your point of sale. I hope you have a great day. Leave any questions down below you might have. And join us on the next step if that didn't work for you. Bye-bye now.